Welcome, man. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel, man. Listen, man. Uh, I'm on my laptop right now. From time to time, I uh, log in and check some things. And I was just reminded of a video that I did uh, over a year ago, actually. Um, what I talked about in that video was uh, uh, the proper way to install a pressed on pulley. The car I was working on at the time was a PT Cruiser. So. Uh, I'll use it as this example also. Uh, there's a proper way to install a Preston pulley, and there's an improper way to install a Preston pulley. Now, I know in the dealership world or the aftermarket world, uh, mechanics, to save time, usually just grab the big hammer and bang on the crankshaft pulley to put it in place. But that is totally not advisable. That is not uh, the right way to do that because you can, in essence, uh, ruin some uh, thrust bearing. Most of y'all know the history on the PT Cruiser, especially 2007 model. Uh, the front crank seal continues to leak, 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 leak. No matter how many times you replace it, uh, it leaks. <laughs> That's when you should check uh, end play of the crankshaft, and you probably find out that uh, it has excessive end play because of a worn out thrust bearing. Now, I don't know what actually caused that, but, but I do know banging on a crankshaft pulley to install it will cause that. I do know that. Uh, so you in essence have to uh, pull the engine. Well, I won't say that. I will say that uh, because I've done it. That's the proper way to do it. That's the way the book says to do it. But I've done it by simply uh, splitting the transmission away from the engine and uh, was able to lower the crankshaft far enough to get the new thrust bearing in there and uh, it turned out to be a successful repair. Uh, now, I'm getting off subject, but that thrust bearing has been redesigned anyway, so you won't get the same thrust bearing that come off of it. I don't know if they made it better or not, but this video is about installing a crankshaft pulley. So, like I say, uh, there's a special tool for that, but you don't really need the special tool. Here's the tool, the Miller tool that uh, we use, I use. But if you don't have this, don't panic. Simply make you one. All it is is a long bolt. This bolt is the same thread as the crankshaft hole. So you screw it in there, and uh, but get you a nut first to go that would thread on the uh, on the bolt. And in this case, um, there's a roller bearing right here to uh, you know aid in turning. So you just put that on there, and uh, this is a Miller special too. But you can easily use a socket the same size that's used to press the pulley on so now I'm a, uh, I already got some video footage of me installing this so I'm going to pull it up right now but simply man just put it on there put your pulley on there and get a nice good uh, you know a nice good setting <laughs> do not reach for a hammer just reach for this tool or make you this type of tool and use that simply put it on there thread it all the way in as far as you're to go and all you do man is just turn this nut right here that will drive the pulley on to the crankshaft properly that way you're not banging on the pulley you're not banging on main bearing thrust bearing anything like that you're not ruining the internals of the engine uh, this is the proper way to put it on so that is very important man if you ruin those thrust bearings you will eventually end up with a um, excessive in play in your crankshaft and could cause a lot of oil leaks. Front crank seal, rear main seal, who knows? Just every time I get a car leaking from the front crank seal or the rear main seal, you should always check a uh, crankshaft in play. Now, that's true for that, but you mean you can use common sense. Grab your pulley if it's still on there and just simply put it back and forth. If you hear this, put, 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 put. You have excessive in play. It don't even matter how much it is at that point because it's um, excessive. So you essentially got some problems in this time to repair. But I don't want to make this video long. That's all I have, man. I just wanted to show you the proper way, the proper way to uh, install a crank, uh, install a press fit crankshaft pulley. Some people call it a dampener. All right. Um, that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel. If you got any uh, requested videos you want me to speak on or talk about, just leave them in the comment section. I can do that. All right. Thanks for watching.